track and field at its best, and this is a special year because it is the road to Rio. Hi, Molly, Crystal Hart. Hi, great, great performance. Um, t tell me, uh, you came up a little short. Now my uh, friend here, Billy, felt maybe those girls got in your way a little bit, and it, it's gone. Uh, any comments on that? Yeah, a little bit in indoor racing. That's kind of part of it. In a long race, like a 5K, you're going to lap people, so it's just... It's almost a strategy if you can kind of like run the other person towards them or away, take the best line first. And I just didn't get there first. Betsy got there first with a clear path, and I just didn't have enough gas to make up for it. So, <laughs> Molly, towards the end when you had to get around that girl, did, that kind of messed you stride up a little bit. Did you get any kind of a pull in your leg right before the finish? You kind of went up like that. How's your leg? It's fine, at least for now. It's fine. Knock on wood. But um. I just kind of tried to not lose momentum, and that's kind of just what happened. So, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, maybe it slowed me down a little bit. <laughs> but you feel okay, though. You're on to go on with your training and everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll know more tomorrow, but I feel fine now, so. And would you say this is good good speed speed work with strength and everything, getting ready for the half marathon and any future marathons? You know, a lot of a lot of marathon runners do do these shorter ones, 5,000, which is short for a marathon, a half marathon, speed and strength. Yeah, I think uh, definitely I'll do a few 5Ks, a half marathon, but um, less racing overall because I'm probably going to focus on the 10K. But yeah, I definitely would love to get at least two 5Ks in. So. Say a shout out to your fans. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Congratulations on that victory. Uh, were there any surprises out there? Uh, you know, it's really fun coming here. Like, this is my third time coming to Amre, so I actually know the track better because I ran, I've ran three, like 2014 and 2015, so I knew everything that's going on in this track, and it's a very good track, but I just wanted to take the lead, like 200 to go, because I don't want to risk it because everybody was there, and I knew, like, it's going to be really, really tough, but I, I was really tough mentally today, and, um, you know, it's just like that thing that you just want to win because I've been second 2014, second last year. So this year I was like, I just need to win this race. It's my third time. I don't want to give another chance. Did you do anything different in training? <laughs> uh, not really. I just switched the group and I'm training with Jerry's group at the Nike headquarters right now. So um, it's just like, I haven't changed anything. It's just like trying to get the strength and just get the speed work and get going. So um, I'm just excited. It's, it's a pleasure. Okay, just talk a little bit about, about strength. Uh, you know, like you're trying to build up, you know, the, it's Olympic here, you don't want to, to like, you just need to be really careful and try to have like a very good loading, like running longer stuff and doing like a little bit of speed work. So we've been just like focusing in training with Shalene and Amy for a little bit. So coming here today, I knew like when I was uh, making the team for the Olympics, like for the marathon, I knew like, well, it's a pleasure to have such teammates who have been just training with you winning the race. And I just wanted to surprise myself winning it today too. Congratulations, say a shout out to your fans. Thank you so much and um, always a pleasure to come to Amory with, uh, you know, with these fans around here and I'm excited to come back to New York again. I'm Krista Hart reporting from the Mill Rose Games here in New York City. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the track.